Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back, and today we're going to be doing a Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the Nintendo Wii live commentary, unboxing, review, or opening, or whatever you want to call it, or you can call it removing the plastic from the Kirby's Return to Dreamland case. Now, so today I purchased Kirby, I got it for $50 plus tax, so it was about, I think about $54. And I also purchased three other games in addition to purchasing Kirby. I got Battlefield 3, and this cost $35 plus tax. And Dragon Ball Z game, this was new, was $51 plus tax. And the final game was Warhammer Space Marines, about $43 or $44 plus tax. So um, I got four games today, and when I buy, I usually buy in box. You may be asking yourself why do you buy in box so well it saves time and time is time is valuable so these were the four games I got today and if I were to make separate trips to get each game or get them all on the mini launch I mean it takes up time it, it takes up gas money though and if you remember the expression, time is money, well that's what it boils down to, so by not st stopping at a video game store five times a week and limiting the trip to only one, I can get everything at once though, and it saves time, and during that time though I could be eating, relaxing, sleeping, doing work, so there's a lot to do with time though, so time is valuable, and you, I try not to waste any of this, so I try to limit my trips to getting games to the minimum, so it's great buying in bulk, because if you buy games in bulk, if you're buying, let's just say, five games at a time, four games at a time, twenty games at a time, it limits your trips, and on top of that, it costs money, you got to spend gas money, or I guess if you live clo if you live in a city, then I guess you can walk, it just depends which city you live in and how close it is. So um, this is Kirby's Dream Land for the Nintendo Wii. I purchased it today, and um, it's I originally saw the when I originally saw the trailer, it, it showed the four Kirby characters. I think Waldy D, I think King D D D, Meta Knight, and Kirby, and I think it was a Kirby clone or something. I don't know. All four of them are on the cover. You've got Kirby with his sword, and it looks like he has a looks like he has a has a similar to Link with a star on top. And um, there's also a TV show about Kirby. You've got if you if you're unfamiliar, I think this one's Wall D D. This one's Meta Knight. This one's King D D D. From um, Super, S most of these characters aren't um I think Wall D D may be an assist trophy or something. Maybe one of the characters in one of the stages in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. He may also be in Melee. I'm not sure though. Is he in Melee? He may be one of those assist trophies or one of the summons in Melee. Rigor, so, so it's got four player co op. Unfortunately, it doesn't use a GameCube controller. This was originally supposed to be for the GameCube, and the, the text on the back is pretty small. But this is unfortunate though because I do not like the Wii Remote. It's fine for some games where it's a first person shooter or a rail shooter where you just aim at the TV and then you click A and then the animation of your character, I guess, shooting one of the enemies goes off. That's fine though because those games are meant for motion control, which is fine in my opinion, like House of the Dead 2 and 3, I mean, it may be better to play that game on the Wii than to play with a standard controller, because that's meant for, that's meant for an arcade, I guess, arcade controller, and that's what the Wii is, it's, the Wii remote is basically an arcade controller, I mean, it's not as accurate as a mouse and keyboard, or as a control though, but when you're playing a rail shooter though, your objective mainly is to point and shoot and you don't want to miss, or if you miss you're not going to be able to shoot the enemy and they're going to kill you before you can get the opportunity to even scratch them. So, playing Kirby on the Wii, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but the controls for Super Mario Brothers, the issue was you do shake the remote a specific way to do the jump to get Mario 
up there and it just was not working out though you should get a specific way at a specific time they'll change the way you hold the rear mode and they force motion controls into these games on the level of accuracy just greatly diminishes not only does it feel awkward it doesn't feel normal it takes longer though and it feels like half of control just motion controls itself are a huge problem because the uh, accuracy diminishes and if you do have to tilt it a specific way shake it a specific way move it right move it left put it upside down put it up put it down sh shake it right to left maybe even talk to the Wii remote wh whatever it uses though just not as accurate as using a mouse and keyboard or even using the thumbstick on the control on the control the thumbstick on a control is not as accurate as using your whole hand on a on a mouse so but it still has a level of accuracy in the Wii remote it just the accuracy level just completely diminishes especially as a motion sensor so I'm hoping though that, that it limits the Wii remote action to minimal though it probably won't though but if you want to play Kirby you have to adjust so that's the way I look at it though I mean the only option is to use a Wii remote which is unfortunate no classic control no game control it probably would have taken them two seconds though but if you're if you can't choose you can't choose though so nothing I can do about that but with the negativity side I'm trying to get past the negativity of the weird mode and hopefully that this game will hopefully the positive effects of it being a Kirby game will outweigh the negatives now I played the Kirby and the Nintendo 64 at a friend's house a long time ago this may have been a decade ago or something great game a lot of fun I wanted to get though my I don't even think my Nintendo Switch 4 when I put in the games I can blow them over and over and over again I can try to clean out the um, Nintendo 64 and the cartridges but they just it just doesn't seem to turn on so even if I were to get Kirby at this point on eBay or one of those sites that sells older video games though I mean for the Nintendo 64 I think it's called Kirby and the Crystal Shards uh, the, the disc, not the disc, I mean the cartridge and the 64 cartridge and the console may not even turn on. I mean it's glowing red though but it doesn't mean that it actually shows an image on the TV other than just a, a spark in the TV and then you pretty much can't see anything else so it's unfortunate that they haven't re-released a remake or was it game controller but um this is only, I guess, Kirby game I own. I don't own any of the Kirby games for the Game Game Boy or the DS or... I guess that's, that would be the only systems I would be for, of my knowledge of Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance. There may be one for the DS and then the Wii and then the Nintendo 64. So this is the only Kirby game I've owned. So I'm now officially a owner of a Kirby game and hopefully it turned out better than I expected. The plastic is still on this though, but th today I... I may not want to open it right away. The main reason why is because I have three other games to play though, and I've got, like I said, the Ultimate Taikenshi, Dramble the Ultimate Taikenshi, the Warhammer, 40k Space Marines, and the what other game, the Battlefield 3, and two of them were already used when I got them to open the Ultimate Taikenshi I opened, so I may want to hold off on this one for now. And Black Friday's coming up, so. Maybe on Black Friday you can get a discount. I mean, this cost me fifty-four dollars. And on Black Friday, maybe you could get it for forty dollars, and ha maybe get a, or maybe get it for fifty dollars at Target and get a ten percent gift card, or maybe at GameStop, maybe they'll have it used for forty-five plus tax, and you get a ten percent off discount if you have the rewards card. So maybe they'll have some type of, or maybe a Sears will sell for forty or forty-five. Maybe they'll have some type of a promotion to try to get you in the store to get the game. So if you want it right away then you can get it. I don't know how this game is but you can expect to see reviews, commentaries, walkthroughs, playthroughs, fortunately doesn't have any online and if it had online, I don't, to my knowledge, if, if it had online it's like, I think the, they give you the global I kind of say Wi-Fi but I guess it doesn't have Wi-Fi on it but it'd be great if it had online multiplayer of course not though so another negative it, negativity again what I saw about what I heard from the reviews this was be for younger gamers though so the difficulty level may be easy though which in my opinion may be something fantastic because look if the controls are, are bad though and I cannot accurately control that makes the game nearly impossible I mean just think about it for a second if you're playing a first person shooter and you can accurately aim though it's going to be nearly impossible to get a kill unless you're like Rambo though where you don't have to aim but 
let's just say you're not the Rambo of video games though and you have to aim to get an accurate shot on your enemies teleporting he's moving around the map building most probably and you're gonna have to aim though that that can be an issue for you though so you need accurate control so if the game has is easier though maybe the controls were made a bit easier though then hopefully it won't be the I guess the uh, as much negativity as having the game has super hard controls so that may be something good though that the controls are hopefully easy though so bad controls can ruin a game so like I said if you have bad controls you're not even going to be able to play the game I mean imagine if it said press start and the start button wasn't working and A wasn't working and there was no way to get past the start screen without hitting without pressing a 10 button combo so you need um, sufficient controls to be able to play the game to some extent and bad controls just completely ruins the game even if the game is supposed to be great so because how can you play a game if it has terrible controls regardless of what the story mode or xbox live mode or wi-fi mode is if you can't get even past the star screen you're not even going to be able to play the game so thank you for watching this unboxing of kirby's return to dreamland live commentary review and you can look forward to many videos in the future i'll see you guys later